Tis the season to give real estate, or is it? That's actually the topic that Liz and Gina and myself, Jason, are talking about today on House to Home. Because you remember, what we do on this show is we want to give you the best possible deal in terms of price, in terms of the interest rate, in terms of the property that makes you feel at your utmost happy, and in terms of timing. So I guess, ladies, I will pose the question to the both of you. How often do real estate transactions tend to happen around December 25th for those of us that have accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior? Yeah, you got it. Jesus Christ is our Savior. and we're So still Jesus is the reason for the season. And is it also Correct. the reason for interest rates? <laughs> Unfortunately, not for interest rates. Not yeah. for interest rates. That's right. Interest rates are still on the high side. Uh, oh, yeah. We're anticipating that it may drop a little. But in terms of the holidays and gift giving of a house, it's pretty rare. <laughs> okay, but it, it has happened in the past, I'm sure, right? Uh, yeah, but it's a, a, parents usually would help out with, let's say, a down payment. So if one of our kids are buying a home and uh, we parents would sometimes help with gifting money so that they can use it for their down payment. So we've seen quite a number of that, right, Gina? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, in the past, it was more common than it is now, I think, just because these days the, the purchase prices are much higher than they were in the past. And so that's a, you know, that's a very big gift to be, you know. And, and the other idea is that in the past, when I first was buying real estate, we didn't have 100% loans that you could avail yourself of to buy real estate. It was unheard of when I first bought a home. It was 80, 20 or nothing. You, you know, go home until you save up 20% down payment. Um, but nowadays you can actually get into real estate by just with 100 percent financing on the purchase price. So you only need help with closing cost. And these days there are other avenues that you could go to to help with closing cost fees so i think nowadays you know that's given a little bit of um the parents now can help with uh, maybe furniture <laughs> and plus if <laughs> you think about it like home. santa santa claus coming into your house like he can't really fit like a whole three bedroom four bath like in his in his sack and bring it down the chimney that might be a little bit hard even for santa claus as amazing as he is absolutely that's right. They can yeah. give an appliance because, you know, when you're buying a home, there you're you go. refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer. So those could are, are pretty common where the parents would buy uh, appliances or furniture uh, to outfit the home. Right. Okay. So, so even looking around the calendar, ladies, are there any like special events or holidays, you know, that, that tend to line up with people making uh, real estate deals? Because I always just assumed that, you know, like weddings were big times when when parents or grandparents or Ninas or Ninos would say like, you know, let me let me like you said, like, let me take care of, care of your closing costs or let me help you out with the mortgage or or graduation even. I think you know what for I, us. Go ahead, Gina. Well, you know what I notice? It's not so much um, our busiest time of the year for sales is around December, January, February and during the summer. And it's not, it's not because of any special holiday. I think it's when it's, it's seasonal when people tend to move because that's when the kids are out of school. So you're, you're, if you have to relocate, you're relocating during that period. That's the easiest time to relocate when you're not worried about school. So that's the busiest time from what I've noticed. That's a good point. Yeah. And it's mostly like military rentals as well. We're busy around that window of time. Uh, yeah. when people are PCSing out, and then we do have families coming in. Uh, and of course, a percentage of our sales have been with military buyers when they come on Guam. Uh, many years ago, uh, they were just renting. Uh, but more recently, we're seeing a flow of purchases, um, you know, because they do get their VA 100% loan guarantee. Mm -hmm. and so we're getting more military buyers we just had uh, one of our recent sales was um, a number of them have been military. And one of the homes that we had just sold on Route 17 was priced at 585 with a military buyer. So there's a win a price point also uh, for military buyers. 
Okay. And now as we've learned on this show dozens of times over that, you know, I mean, the, the real estate ecosystem on Guam is made of many, many parts. You guys tend to be, you know, the, uh, the front end for that. And people come to you for, for answers and for guidance, and then you connect them with all the other resources. But of course, this also comes down to the banks and when they can put their instruments and their products together that said, Hey, we've got this wonderful uh, loan if you're looking for a house. Maybe you want to get the paperwork in around the end of the year. Maybe it's closer to St. Patrick's Day. Maybe it's closer to end of school. I don't know. But but the banks are an important part in this whole this whole life cycle. Unless the buyer's paying cash, the bank is critical in this cycle. Mm. And and what fuels the banks is the, the lower the interest rates get, the busier they are. And right now the interest rates are high. Um, we are, we've been hearing from different organizations and different lenders that there might be some adjustments to the rate, um, the interest rates. At first, we were hearing that it was going to go up again towards yeah. the end of December, maybe early January. But now we're hearing that it might actually go down. I think the feds are trying to figure out what's going to work. And we have a presidential election next year, and that always adds some. Yeah, it's a factor on the consideration of which direction is going to go. Please, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, please visit the Federal Reserve. I would love for him to have a conversation with the chairman. <laughs> there you go. We would love that too. Yeah. Okay. So so final question for people that are actually thinking of doing some sort of real estate transaction as a gift. You said, that, I mean, it is an incredibly large uh, sum of money that we're talking about. But Liz, I, I like your idea. There may be just an appliance maybe you know something for the home maybe something you know you can help out with the closing costs you can help out with you know some sort of expense and that I, I i like that idea and that's easy to plan around oh it is definitely um the families really guam is so family oriented that families come out to help you know their kids buy things and i think one of the biggest gifts is helping out with that down payment because that's a substantial amount. And usually they'd have to come out with four to 6% of the purchase price mm -hmm. in order to meet their closing costs and, um, and their escrow fees. So that definitely is a big hunk that will make a big impact, would have a big impact on uh, their, their uh, purchase. Yeah, Definitely. Gina, and if and if anybody wants to give like a washer and dryer, the combined unit and everything, well, I mean, we know the appliance centers have sales this time of year. So, I mean, that it, everything lines up in that regard. Yeah, absolutely. You know, be generous this year. Give to your family, your friends, the charitable organizations that you know of. Um, you know, it is the season for giving. Yeah. But speaking of which, before we go, kudos to the both of you and your staff for you, what you guys did at your, your wonderful nonprofit organization, the Children's Arc. You granted... Was it um twenty thousand dollars? Five was it six or was it eight? Six families. Six yeah. families. Yes, there you go. Six families um got a wonderful donation from the Children's Ark. Uh, these are families with children in need, and you wonderful people um are definitely helping them out. I mean, there are smiles all around, and these these people were so unbelievably moved by the support that you showed them. So I was happy just to be there. We got a story coming out about that. Hey, we just want to remind everyone, we have another fundraising event for February 9th, which is Guamopoly. So we're looking at sponsors and also having people put together teams uh, for this event. And the funds, again, will go towards um, children who are in need, families that need medical assistance. So we yeah. do not pay any employee. This Everything that we raise... Parts of that go to expenses, but the bulk of that will go towards the person in need. And so, I want to play Guamopoly, but but I get to be the thimble or the car. <laughs> there you go. We hey, got a table for you, Jace. I know. You're I mean, technically, I'm, I'm going to be emceeing, so I don't even know if I'll get to pick a piece. But, hey, I got the best seat in the house because I get to watch all you guys play play Monopoly with the Guam theme. So yeah, I'm yeah, looking forward to that. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I invite people to call us, find out more about it, and... Uh, We'll get you involved. Make sure to register a team, everybody, because Liz and Gina and their wonderful, wonderful team at not only Remax Time Realty Guam, uh, but also the Children's Ark are doing amazing work for our island community. So, ladies, we are always in your debt. And thank you and Merry Christmas to you and your families. Merry Christmas, Jace. Thanks, everyone.